Sean Sewell with InGearment.com in our mountains of Colorado with the Mystery Ranch Radix 57 liter lightweight backpack. This is Mystery Ranch's foray into lighter weight packs. This is just under four pounds. You can get, get it down to about three pounds, which is definitely lightweight, but not ultra lightweight. But with that, you get Mystery Ranch's build quality and the ability to haul much, much more weight and much more robust features than most ultralight backpacks. I've had this for about one year, so I've got a lot of use with it. Now that I see people have reviews on it up live, I assume I can go ahead and share my thoughts. So in this review, I'll go over the fit, features, and functions on the Radix 57 liter backpack. Let's get into it. First, we'll start with sizing. I am six foot, 220 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist. This is a men's small medium. Like, how's that possible? Well, I'm a 19 and a half on the torso, just shy of 20 inches on some backpacks. And the torso is adjustable several steps. I think 15 to 20 inches for the small medium. So perfect fit for me. As you can tell, I don't want to load it out completely. I just have some essentials I was keeping it. So you will probably notice I could bring it down about a quarter inch. You do get load lifters up top, of course, because it is a real backpack. The hip belts are awesome. They're Mystery Ranch. They're designed to carry a load. Most of Mystery Ranch's backpacks are not even for civilian use. They're for people um, in, in services, uh, doing things much more intense than I'm doing. So their packs are engineered and designed for people carrying bigger amount of kit and more weight. So it just kind of trickles down and benefits us basic backpackers and hikers. But the hip belts are nice, padded, perfectly placed, especially when you dial a system in, spend time dialing the Mystery Ranch system in and it will always treat you well. You do get pockets on your side, you get little lash points that are really helpful. I have a little, you probably note this as if you're a backcountry skier or snowboarder or splitboarder, little <clears throat> volet strap here. And then the strap here is adjustable as you can tell you can take it out and reposition it wherever you want it to be i have it a little bit lower probably one cling from the very bottom it is hydration compatible there is a sleeve though it is lower down on the pack the frame is exposed and then below that is the sleeve and that sleeve is holding a 100 ounce or three liter water bladder with a wrap around it and an insulated straw so it can handle whatever you want to throw in there as far as water and you can pour it out to the right or to the left and the weather has been windy as you can see we have tested this thing out since the fall of last year it is now june beginning of june uh, and we still have snow as you can see because it's colorado we get to have some pretty wild fun times let me take you on a ride on the backpack <clears throat> well first off i'll show you the back see each one of these is about an inch and i have it to then about 19 inches so you take the plastic in here and you kind of just separate the velcro and then you slide this up or down to accommodate your back there's the load lifters you can take everything off make this really just a basic kit i have in here a, a gray old water bottle these pockets are huge as you can see easily swallows up <clears throat> i think this is a 32 ounce bottle and wherever you see orange it means i have negotiated or tightened it so here is no orange and then here is orange the same thing over here nice sizable pocket a big kangaroo pocket right here as well i like the black color because you can see black and the orange it's kind of incognito then all of a sudden you see the orange lash points for tools trekking poles ice axes stuff like that on the bottom you get a space for carrying your sleeping pad or tent or whatever else you want to carry there again is my i could probably take it off but i just want to show you where i, where I carry that yeah i'll take him off for the purposes of the video Wink. This is to carry splitboard or skis together when touring. This pack could be used all season, and that's actually how I used it. In the kangaroo pocket, I have a, um, well, don't look at that. That's from GoPro. It's not out yet. On the top here, you get a nice watertight zipper. There's two zippers total. It opens up right there. A great place for snacks right here. Hey, what's that? A prototype and gearment hat? Hmm, maybe. Other things you can easy access right there. And then, of course, you get lash points throughout the backpack. So you'll see lash points like this all along the backpack. Handy feature. There are two clips. One, two, and then you're into the backpack. 
is also an offset zipper, offset on this side, on your back right side. So you can zip all the way down and fillet open the backpack. Man, that wind is kicking up. <laughs> it's been like that the last two days. We've been up here camping and uh, that's Colorado for you. All right, seal the closure shut if you want to. On the inside, I won't bore you. It's just a big, deep pocket, but you can see the frame right there. And then this is where I have my hydration bladder stored right here. Again, not, not easy to show you. One man and a windstorm showing you all this. Somebody has a fire. You better put that out. This one's going to kick up. Uh, you have different lash points. You can secure the load in different ways. You can really dial it in. And uh, so what do I think about this pack? Well, one, I've tested a lot of Mist Ranch backpacks and they're never lightweight. They're never the lightest weight pack in the list, but they are always the strongest and they carry the load the best. I've trusted Mystery Ranch to take me to backcountry for split boarding, for hiking, and now for backpacking. I had never really thought about them for lightweight backpacking. Boom. Yeah, so they use the ultra high weight, poly whatever material that everybody's using for the backpack. Yes, they do. Uh, they call it bird's eye ripstop. So it is durable as all heck. Um, this one is six months old. It's lived in my truck. It's been on trails. It's been in the snow. It's been in the dirt, been in the mud, been up there in the mountains. Has carried that, that tent, which is not a lightweight tent. It's a six pound tent. So when I go backpacking, I'm not looking to save weight necessarily. I'm looking to have a good time. I'm looking to have a reliable time. I'm not trying to skip on grams and all those things. I'm just trying to do what's right for my dog and myself and my wife and have a good time outdoors safely so we can have a, a good time and come back and do it again. That's my mission with backpacking or hiking or split boarding or rafting or biking. I don't have to be the fastest, don't have to be the lightest, just have to be comfortable and safe and have a good enough time where the person you're doing it with wants to come back and do it again with you or themselves. That's like the ultimate mission is to get people inspired to go outside on their own and have a good time. So with that in mind, does this backpack qualify as a good lightweight backpack? Heck yes. Um, secret be told, how I've been using it is carrying it uh, on hikes, just regular old hikes, loading it up, kind of like rucking, uh, about 30, 35 pounds worth of gear, camera gear, tripods, our nieces, we have four nieces, their stuff, my wife's stuff, my dog stuff, my extra stuff, but, uh, chairs, not even backpacking chairs, regular camping chairs, just a ton of stuff, loading it out, because Mr. Ranch can handle it. So that is my take on it. I am planning on doing part of the Colorado Trail this, this summer. I just dropped off a couple uh, last weekend and it got me inspired to go do it myself. So probably go out for about three nights and I would use this 57 liter backpack to, to handle that. And what I would probably have in it is probably a Thermarest uh, Neo Air Extreme pad. I would have MSR uh, stove, several backpackers pantry meals, the Grail, water purifier as you see right here uh, i would probably have a 15 degree sleeping bag and then a, a light quilt to go on top of that for my dog chloe camp pillow probably an msr mother hubba 2 tent or possibly an exped four season tent depending on what part of the trail we go and how much exposure and how much alpine there is um, what else safety kit first aid kit repair kit camera this camera sony a7R5, that's, that's not light. And uh, sunglasses, changes of clothes, sunscreen, probably a 100 watt battery pack to recharge the camera and my cell phone a few nights over. Maybe even a drone to get some really cool footage. So you're getting an idea. I'm, I'm taking quite a bit of stuff, right? None of it is like ultra light, but none of it's like heavy kitchen sink. Well, the kitchen sink is the drone and the camera. You don't need those. I could probably get away. Most people could probably get away with their cell phone. But I'm trying to shoot YouTube videos here, people. So I would bring higher caliber stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully it gives an idea of what I might pack. Oh, trekking poles, of course, trekking poles. I think I probably would take my MSR poles with me this time. And, uh, and a puffy, puffy jacket and puffy pants. Puffy pants are actually a nice, nice camping hack. I love them. They really help push uh, another 10 degrees on a sleeping bag. Those are just my thoughts, right? Oh, well, one, one last thought to leave you with. I, I know they probably intend for you to be able to put this in here. But I don't know if my range of motion is lacking or what but i have a little bit of trouble 
putting it in there. Like some of them will have it so you can easily store it right here. This one is on the fence with that. Maybe a user error on my part, but just wanted to clarify that. Okay, enough rambling and talking in the mountains about the MSR or Mystery Ranch Radix 57 liter plus backpack. It's awesome, it's super well designed. It's everything you want. You can repair it on the trail. Well built, it'll carry way more than 25 pounds, which I know you want to save 25 pounds or lower for your ultralight backpackers. But again, I'm not an ultralight backpacker. I'm just a backpacker trying to save some weight so I can carry more weight in different categories for what it's worth. All right, Sean Sewell with ingimmer.com. Hope you found this helpful. One last gander at the backpack. One last gander at the beautiful mountains up there. If you got any questions, please put them in the comments below. It'll get back right to you. If you have experience with this backpack and you want to share with others, be cool. Put in the comments below. Let's chat about it. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Ingearment. Until next time, take care.